How are you my internet family and welcome back for another skincare video. I haven't made a whole skincare related video in a hot minute but I have excuses. I've been growing a human being in my womb and a, a, a pa pandemic but actually that's one of the main reasons I really want to make this video because aside from face massage being one of my all-time favorite beauty routines and um, something I've been doing for about a year and a half now it's also a huge part of my de-stress relaxation me time self-care routine um it's really important in my day-to-day -day life now yeah I thought I needed to make a whole video about this um I've had a lot of comments from long time viewers about my face recently <laughs> many random people around the world pointing out my cheekbones or my face structure when I've actually gained quite a lot of weight with my pregnancy and my face kind of has a very deep puffed look about it I've given it a lot of thought and you know two big things happened around the time that my face started slightly changing shape and just looking less full and you know those two things were quitting alcohol and face massage. And I do think these things really, really work together because we all know what it's like waking up with a hangover and how your face kind of holds on to a lot of toxins and fluid and that kind of thing. But when you're really stressed out, when you're fatigued, when you're really tired, like you see these things in your face, in your expression lines. It's not like face massage actually changes the structure of your face, you know, your bone structure or anything, but it definitely does change the look of your face because of lymphatic drainage mainly um we have drainage points and face massage aside from boosting your circulation strengthening the facial muscles so that can actually in turn help to prevent wrinkles or like the look of wrinkles promoting collagen all the good things it also detoxifies through lymphatic drainage so i definitely think giving up alcohol was quite a big thing for me in terms of my face um but at the same time you know i still get a puffy different looking face if I have like a really big salty meal the night before and I if I skip face massage for a few days my face actually looks different to me in the mirror and we do know that when a woman say has her menstrual cycle your face looks different at different points of your cycle depending on your hormones and stuff it's really really fascinating and um, but I have done a whole lot of research on why the kind of outwards and upwards motions of face massage are so beneficial and I really swear by it now I think um especially because I'm turning 31 quite soon and um yeah I plan on this being a very big skincare habit throughout my 30s I'd love if you would join in on doing it with me and know that you don't have to dedicate a huge amount of time to this it can be a few seconds while you're removing your makeup with the cleansing balm or it could be an entire five minutes I'm going to show you a couple of different ways I go about this and if you enjoyed this video at all or learn anything from it I would love a thumbs up especially if you want more videos like this um but yeah let's let's start be warned this is one of the most lovely meditative relaxing things that you could add into your days if you're not doing it already and if I get to be the one to introduce that to you that makes me very 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 happy <laughs> okay so I have cleansed my skin I used a cleansing balm and then spritzed on a little bit of rose water and I applied a little bit of hyaluronic acid serum as well really important is that I am not wearing good clothes like I am wearing a really old t-shirt usually I'd go with pajamas or something I don't mind getting a bit destroyed if I choose to have a long facial massage with oil and yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you like two different ways that I would go about doing this within a week I am applying argan glow oil this is just argan oil by Rosenthal but you can literally use any light oil for this don't go with light lotions you know you can use a cleansing balm any kind of treatment oil that you have on hand in your house i've seen people online swear by coconut oil and olive oil and stuff that they find in their kitchen cupboards for facial massage and a lot of people go with rice bran oil or carrot seed oil rose hip oil sunflower oil you can just use a bit of serum either if you're doing a quick massage what is really important about facial massage is that you need to have some kind of slip so you don't ever do this without you know a skincare product or um that slippiness on your skin between your tool of choice 
and your face and you can apply a ton if you want to and then after the massage use a warm cloth just to kind of remove excess if you're doing it before bed say I'm applying quite a lot because I have to show you two different techniques here but uh, I would do this about once a week where I'd have a much longer face massage if you don't have some kind of massage tool at home you can use your fingers and your knuckles your knuckles are actually brilliant for this and all you have to remember is very gentle be very gentle like slight pressure and no tugging of your skin and um, and I'll just I'll kind of just do what I would do if I was sitting say watching a YouTube video or listening to a podcast and um, while I chat to you um, I've definitely said before in my skincare videos that it's important to avoid twitching your face very much but I do make an exception when it comes to face massage simply because everything's very well lubricated and you know you're doing it with clean hands and a clean face it is just so good for your face and for your skin to boost the circulation um but yeah essentially like what I'm doing right now feels so good when I do it down here especially if you have like tension in your jaw and you do this oh my god it's so good for stress um and for anxiety to really massage out those muscles in there because this works better when i've got a tense jaw than my any of my tools really yeah so i kind of be always going out in a motion like this and then sometimes i might take two knuckles and draw them along the skin in motions like this and I never kind of go out and then bring it back this way so I'm always just going out and then lifting my hand away always going from the center of the face out and you'll notice if you go for facials this is the kind of motions that they will do if they're giving you a face massage they usually will give you a face massage in a lot of facials as soon as you try this you'll know what I mean in that you could sit there for such a long time doing it because it's just really bloody lovely um so i'm always kind of bringing out to these points out here to drain all those toxins but yeah i'm always kind of doing either an upward or an outward motion and this over time can absolutely change the kind of structure of your your skin or your expression lines and um, so say these ones i think they're called nasolobial folds or whatever these lines anyway in your face can become more pronounced especially around my age so I kind of give them a bit of TLC. I've seen a lot of Korean ladies on YouTube do this with their neck and obviously lots and lots and lots of oil um, for just draining those lymph nodes. So yeah, like I said, if I have a few seconds or a couple of minutes, I might just do that while I'm even removing my makeup, like with my cleansing balm, just to give your skin a nice massage. Um, but I have gotten rather into my tools. I'm I'm a big fan of face rollers and massagers, mainly because they are so relaxing, but also like these bits get really, really cold, depending on where you keep it. Like you can keep it in the fridge or just, in a cold room in your house and it really just feels like you're treating yourself like an absolute princess when you're using something like this like oh it's so cold it's so good it's so good so <laughs> this is a rose quartz roller i have seen these rollers talked about all over the internet people absolutely swearing by them you know there's so much anecdotal evidence but also quite a lot of articles from beauty experts and stuff absolutely raving about them but I already had a face massage tool so I was like oh I shouldn't really go and buy something else I had that body shop one with the balls that I showed you earlier and um, then I got sent this to try out by Rosenthal because it comes in like this little skincare set that they do and I've been utterly in love with it ever since I use it maybe three times a week ish and my husband always walks in and gives me this big smile when I'm using it and sometimes he lets me use it on him because it's just so lovely. It's so lovely. These crystals get real cold and that massively combats puffiness. I've noticed if I use this in the morning, it'll really help if I have puffiness under my eye area. Loads of beauty bloggers and estheticians and everything like that have said that these rollers, the crystal ones, like um, promote healthier more radiant skin. And I've been really enjoying reading about crystals. It's become this weird new hobby of mine lately because they've been used since ancient times for healing and a lot of people really do believe in all the like crystal energy and stuff like that let me know if you're mad into crystals because um it's yeah it's really interesting to read about and um they're just lovely to use and like i said at the start i have definitely noticed reduced swelling in my face my face and the contours of my face just look very 
different and people keep pointing it out to me and um, even if the hundreds of thousands of women um especially like women in asia and stuff where they like really go full on out with their skincare routines even if they were all wrong and they were all lying about um the benefits of facial massage i think i would still do it just because it feels so good and it's so relaxing and it helps products to penetrate into your skin those to me are good enough reasons to do this every bloody day we all know how good it feels to get you know a neck and shoulder massage or a foot massage from like a partner or if you've gone to a spa but it's the same when it comes to your face because you're constantly if you're like me anyway you're very expressive and you smile or you frown or whatever you do hopefully you're smiling more often than not but um it does feel really really good at the end of a long day especially if you've had a tense day at work or just things have been wild with your kids screaming like anything like that having a bit of me time as we say a bit of self-care um in the evening just taking five minutes like I said to to do that in bed with a snack or a cup of tea or just in the bathroom when you're finally alone it's something that I feel very strongly very passionate about skincare like a lot of people kind of poo poo the whole skincare community on YouTube and like what they're not really seeing or understanding is that for a lot of us it's a massive hobby and it is a huge source of joy and good feelings and it promotes kind of nice hormones to be released in the body because we are relaxing and obviously a nice side effect of that is aesthetic benefits and um, but I think a lot of you will agree like if you're into this kind of stuff if you're really into skincare that's not like the driving force that's not the thing that keeps you coming back and back it's kind of like with healthy eating like if you're eating healthy foods and stuff you might have some kind of aesthetic reason why you might be doing that but that will never be a reason you'll stick to it the reason you will stick to something like healthy eating is because it makes you feel good you are craving the feelings that doing that brings you like so yeah uh face massage done. so that's the end of that if you enjoyed this video again let me know in a comment let me know with a thumbs up try it just honestly try it out and tell me how you get on i i'd really like to know and um, if you don't follow me on instagram already i'll link that down in the description box i'd love to have you over there because i post there between youtube uploads any skincare video suggestions at all feel free to demand them of me in the comments um subscribe if you haven't already i usually post every week um it's a whole mixed bag but it's like mostly lifestyle stuff and um i'll see you again in another video very soon hopefully